thank you, and finally, I'm doing this. Again, my name is Leslie Wilson, and I am the CEO and owner of Brain Trust Innovations. I am a product um, developer, and I'm one of 7% of all African American women that are issued a patent in the US. Right now, my patent that I'm working on is scoopless ice cream. And my tagline is scoopless ice cream, no scoop, no hassles. Right now, my I would call my target market is medium to large ice cream makers and packagers. I'm looking for those companies that want something new, creative, and innovative. And I'm looking for people who are looking to increase on their market share and, of course, their bottom line. Now, my research is telling me that right now the ice cream market will be worth about 50 to 60 billion dollars by the year 2027. And I want to help companies be a part of that. And I do that through licensing agreements. And I offer a product that is innovative in packaging and unique in product design. It's going to allow people to actually get ice cream in a fun and creative way. Now, in addition to that, it's going to address portion control. And for someone who's been eating ice cream nonstop for five years, um, that's important to me. And also that quality retention part of ice cream. And sometimes, you know, when you get the ice cream, you get those buttery corners in the carton or those crystals on the top. Our prop concept, um, it really addresses that along with eco-friendly packaging. So how did we get here? Well, I've been told that the best ideas are those that are simple. So my story starts out with me and my husband. We both love ice cream. And I would swear to you, every time we go get a double scoop, his scoop was bigger than mine. And even when I brought it to their attention, they was totally unapologetic about it. Like, he needed more ice cream than I did. And this bothered me. So it wasn't until we were packing from our move, from our move to Michigan that I had this aha moment. And that was, why don't they just put the scoops in a bag? And so I decided to write a patent, and I'm just wired like that. I don't know why. And um, I couldn't find my laptop, so I went to Kinko's down on Westnitch. I found out how to write a patent, and I wrote a provisional patent, and that's just a patent that's a holding place until you do an actual patent. And without an attorney or any fancy drawings, I wrote this provisional patent for what I wanted just from a consumer standpoint of view. So where are we now? Well, we recently um, went ahead. Well, let me let me just backtrack and tell you this. Um, didn't know what I didn't know, and getting a patent in an industry that I never worked in, I didn't know anybody in, and I didn't know how it worked. It was difficult um, to say that I had uh, a steep learning curve and I made some missteps is an understatement. Um, I had to fire myself on several occasions because I wasn't getting any results. But I do know the boss, and I did learn something very important, and that is I had to give myself grace. And I had to tell myself that you don't know what you're doing, and you don't know anyone who's done this. And so from that point, I tell myself every day that I'm proud of myself for just trying. So where are we now? So recently, I partnered with the Centropolis Accelerator Program over at Lawrence Tech University. And I'm working with Dennis Shaver, and he's outstanding. He's known in the field for getting licensing agreements. And he's also teaching me marketing. And one of the things that we're trying to do is to get our target market to say, I want that. And he's also teaching me that industry intelligence. So when I do get that audience in front of someone, I'm talking their language, and I can present my product in a way that they want that product. And so the other thing he's teaching me is how to rebrand myself. Now this is an eight week program and I can't wait to see what my company is gonna look like at the end of this program. Some of the other things that I'm doing is my company is a certified women's business organization or enterprise, a minority business enterprise, and I am a member of the Women's Business Council here in the Great Lakes Zone. If you haven't already looked into those programs, I highly recommend them. The resources are just invaluable to a solopreneur. And for myself, it's one of the reasons why I'm standing before you today. I also have two mentors. I have John Schmidt with the SBA, 
and he's been instrumental in talking me off the ledge on more than one occasion. <laughs> this is true. And um, uh, her name is Sharon Cochran, and she is with the Michigan Minority Supplier and Diversity Council, which is actually a national organization, and her as well, she has just been instrumental in putting me into the right direction. So it's funny when people ask me, um, how did you get here? And I said, I, I really don't know. I, I started out with a thought, and I had a scattershot approach to try and learn information and learn the industry and just get contacts in the industry. And I had all these nuggets of information, and I didn't know what I was going to do with them. And then one morning, I was listening to the news, and the CEO from Pfizer said, luck never happens to the unprepared. So now I think that all those nuggets that I was gathering are going to pay, uh, bear fruit for me one day, and I live like that. So, what do I need? You had six minutes. You can keep going, but we'll see the video a few minutes. Okay. So, what do I need? I need a mentor in the frozen food industry, probably desserts. I need somebody that I can talk to to understand what are some of the obstacles that they're facing in this growing market, and how can I uh, kind of position my product to help them out. I also need more visibility in this market, and I need money, because when you have a product concept, you're gonna to get to the point that you wanna do CAD files, and prototyping, and 3D imaging, and there's other things, but those are just to name a few, and they do take money. So in closing, will I see my product on grocery store shelves across America one day? Absolutely. But in the meantime, I got a lot of work to do. I got things to learn, and I need more patience. So with that, I would like to leave you with a quote from one of the most prolific screenwriters in Hollywood today, Shonda Rhimes. And she says this, I am not lucky. You know what I am? I am smart. I am talented. And I take advantage of opportunities that come my way. And I work really, really hard. Don't call me lucky. Call me a badass. And that could be every woman in this room. Thank you.